What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K21 My Team Video. And guys, today... We are going over the market as usual. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button. Let's hit 50 likes on this video, and we will do a 100,000 MT giveaway. So we're going to go over the market. We're going to go over some snipe filters. We're going to see if the market's up, if the market is down. And honestly, before we get into it, we're going to pop a pack. Uh, I pulled Lonzo. He ended up selling for 133K, so nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. My pack luck with 2K has been beyond garbage. So, um, yeah, it's been really bad. 2K's pack luck has been terrible. I don't know if you guys have been having a uh, good pack luck, bad pack luck. Let me know in the description if you guys have been having some good pack luck. Because me personally, man, I have had some doo-doo, doo-doo pack luck. And uh, Giannis, let's check out this quick. Wow, I really want this card. I really wish I didn't get banned. It would be awesome. But uh, also, guys, if you do need MC, hit me up. I am buying and selling MC. So, we're going to go over some snipe fillers. I'm going to tell you right now if the market is crashed and or going up. And um, right now, here's the problem. With Tracy McGrady and LeBron James, you're probably never going to see their price drop until Super Packs. That's probably the only time you will see their price drop for right now. And my shirt's bugging. Why? Why is it bugging? That is absolutely absurd. Yo, what? Well, we changed my shirt because it was pugging out, but uh, yeah, I just want to go over one thing. If you did sell your cards, it wasn't a bad idea. We're going to focus on pink diamonds, I feel, for this episode. Uh, market didn't really crash as much as I thought, maybe on the diamond and amethyst end, but pink diamonds sort of stayed the same. Um, let's check out a couple cards, though, I want to look at. Kristaps Porzingis and Ben Simmons is definitely down a little bit, so we're going to go to pink diamond. And we're going to go to Inferno, and I want to see what their prices are at, what they're consistently at. And I can tell you if it's worth buying them right now. Me and my opinion, bro, I think it's kind of worth buying these cards. And honestly, I think since they're getting closer to buyout, I think they'll be a lot easier to snipe. So the market is crashed in some ways. It's also not crashed in some ways because think about it. So in my opinion, this is what I think is going on. The higher the Galaxy Opal, right? So the Galaxy Opals are actually staying at their value but the diamonds and the pink diamonds and the amis all that they're all crashing okay so if you think about it all of these cards that i'm naming right now they are going down in value they really they really really are so right now um since there are they are going down in value um you should probably not sell now i'm thinking monday so sit us uh, so listen to this so since the market didn't really crash as much as expected what's gonna happen is the market is going to rise like crazy monday tuesday and um, we have 14 days left of the season so there's gonna be super packs around three days left in the season so with three days left in the season you should pretty much sell everything you got in your collection at least you could keep your team for now because the market's really not crash unless you do have diamonds and pink diamonds like i said Diamonds and Pink Diamonds are going to continue to crash because Dark Matter might come out at the, for the beginning or the end of next season. Probably the end of next season, which would be around March-ish. So March something, man, is when the net, the Dark Matter will probably come out, creating a giant, giant, giant crash. Galaxy Ovals will become Pink Diamonds. Dark Matter will become the Galaxy Ovals of last year. The Pink Diamonds will become Diamonds, and the Diamonds will become Amethyst. So if you think about it, man, that's the route 2K is taking right now. Um, so it's pretty interesting. We don't really know what's coming. It's going to be pretty interesting stuff throughout the next couple weeks. Right now, the market's really high. Right now, it's a, it's a sell. Um, it's just not today. You have another two days. There's going to be no content tomorrow. There's going to be no content Sunday. There's probably going to be no content Monday. And if there is content, it's not going to be anything crazy. So my opinion right now, listen to me right now, man. Keep your cards, sell your cards, whatever. Um, they're going to go back up. They're going to go up even more. Right now, there might be a tiny market crash. Diamonds are definitely down in value. Pink diamonds are definitely down in value. But right now, man, definitely worth trying to sell your squad, honestly. You could sell your squad now if you really don't want to. You could pick up your squad right now. I just feel like right now, if you're going to pick up a squad, you got to get diamonds and or lower, or pink diamonds and or lower. You, I would not mess with any opals. Any opals is just a disaster, bro. The opals are way, way too expensive. But, uh... That's how I feel right now. I want to hear what methods, what MT methods you guys are rocking with right now. I'm going to go over some snipe filters. Like I said, man, the snipe filters on Xbox are a lot different from PS4. 
but this is one of my favorites still to this day it is kind of ruined by two players you can enable them out though if you want um, but small four pink down Easter, man. You got to buy out Dominique and or have the check. You just have to do it. Um, for right now, it's ruined. On Xbox, it's a lot different. There's never this many cards up here on Xbox. This filter is definitely way better for Xbox. But you can do it on PS4 if you just simply buy out Dominique Wilkins for around 60K. So like, you need 160K for the filter, which isn't too bad. Um, we also got Diamond Sheepish. Like I said, bro, PS4 is crashed because there's more users on PS4. So, um right here bro the dime filter is pretty solid you're gonna see a lot of interesting cards man i feel like harder for 9200 is a pretty good profit margin only thing i could say i like about ps4 is the market is a lot more fluent there is a lot more snipes going around there's a lot more players on ps4 it's facts um on the 2k end so definitely feeling that this filter is gonna be pretty solid um i'm gonna go over this filter because it's underrated i look for 80s and up on heat check a lot of people just throw up heat checks for no reason for cheap um, so what I look for on this filter is I would just say uh, 80 overall and up. That's the move. 80 overall and up is the move. And uh, my boy Macaulay Flynn or whatever his name is just went down to the G League. So that's kind of trash. I feel bad for him. But right now, man, there's not a lot to do, bro. Like Galaxy Opals, obviously the best snipe filter in the game. The chance of you getting a Galaxy Opal snipe is probably like one out of a million. Um, haven't even sniped the Galaxy Opal this year. I've been sniping out pink diamonds. Uh, here's a little tip, actually. So, with viable pink diamonds, so let's say, I don't know, a decent pink diamond. So, let's say uh, Jamal Crawford, right? Like, a little little tip. I like sniping around the 20k range, but for some reason, sometimes I go on a filter, like a random filter, and I snipe out cards. That's honestly, the all the snipes I get are usually just doing it like this bro like knowing pricing going to a random player and just hoping something pops up like this 25k it has a shoe all right it has a shoe it has a three-point shot i'm actually gonna buy this and i'm gonna throw it up for 30k i'm gonna hopefully make 2k profit it works most of the time it works like i don't see his price going under 30k for now i say his price might go up to even 35k for now but this is how you're gonna make mt you're gonna buy cards for cheap sell them for a little bit more it's going to work but honestly that's all we got for the video i want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below and also if you want to invest i say invest in ruby kobe if he's not expensive let's check out ruby kobe before i do end this video it's probably gonna be one of your best investments right now uh let's check out what's his price you think it is a ruby but it is kobe so wow ruby kobe's stacking right now guys wow ruby kobe's that expensive that's crazy hold up wow what's so good about this Ooh, his stats are nice so ruby kobe is a goat bro he's a hidden freaking opal so ruby kobe filter is probably gonna go crazy today people are spamming packs i say sit on the ruby kobe filter as well but anyways these cards are sick hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for more content have a good one peace